Hello and welcome to the updated version of the No Limits to RCT3 CT tutorial. I realised that the first version didn't really have enough information so this time I'm going to split it up into sections and do a full rundown of the CT creation of a track that wants to be made. So this is part one, getting No Limits track out of No Limits through the construction kit and just into SketchUp. So start with No Limits, this track is Griffin from Bush Gardens, so that's the one I'm going to work with. So uh, obviously you make a track in No Limits, save it, then open the construction kit, open the file. As you can see it shows what the track looks like in a 3D model state, has a lot of extra detail that was um, that was put on this track that I was given which will also all come out with the model so you go first things first is you need to change some of the settings always put curvature to one otherwise the track and spine will have too high a poly and then normally what I did before is I scaled it by 1.2 once in SketchUp this often caused tracks, well, always caused tracks to be too big. So normally it would be 0.09 and then a factor of 1.2 in SketchUp. But that would mean now it would be 108 instead of 0.09. So 108, but that also means that the rails have to change position up to match RCT cars, which is 72. which also means the spine has to move which is 60 and 36 but that also means that the cross ties will not match so I've made new B&M ties that fit the new size track as you, as you can see it is now bigger rails bigger ties, bigger spine everything pretty much lines up. Okay, there's going to be a few issues here and there with supports and, and things like that, but in most things it, it should be alright. So here it goes into the support a bit, but these can all be edited once in SketchUp. So next stage is save model. Always want to do track and supports separately, just makes it a lot easier to work with. So first save the track. Same again, save model, supports, and that's done for the construction kit. Load up SketchUp, well, you will need SketchUp Pro for this, because you can't import 3DS without getting a plugin. You can get a plugin obviously, but I prefer using Pro. Options. Make sure it is model units and coplanar face is ticked. Import track. To start with, to make it easier to line everything up, always place it on origin. And then do the same for the supports. Again, line up with origin. And there you go. No limits track as a SketchUp 3D model. There might be some issues every now and again where a face is missed but that's easy to rectify you just go into the model and you're in a 
missing pieces. Yep, so that's all that's fine. There's also one last stage for this part. Select both the supports and the track. Find the front of the track that you want to use as the station. Find the middle of the spine. And you're going to want to place that on origin. Might take some maneuvering so you can see where to place it. Have the back of the station going along the green dotted line and the direction of the trains travel out of the station on the green line. It has to be like this on the green line, green axis. Uh, otherwise the station in RCT will not line up correctly. And then press Control shift e and that will give an overview of the whole model. That's it for part one. Part two will be how to manipulate the track into track segments ready for blender.